Graphic art, because it's my favorite. I figured since I like art in general and I need a career in technology, that I need graphic art. Probably my favorite type of art is like the most intricate, realistic, almost photorealistic you can get. Um, a lot of sci-fi stuff. I really enjoy a lot of sci-fi stuff. Uh, my favorite art is probably art of the 20th century. Art? I don't have a favorite type of art. I, I should be able to like look at a picture more than once, but see something different every time. Because I figure that most artwork that I enjoy is, you know, is taking me someplace that I can't go to. Like putting myself in the future, putting me in like, you know, even in the past in some like, you know, fantasy castle or whatever, but I want to be able to see that picture but look at it more than once and be like, I never noticed that before. Probably from learning about art history and knowing how art changed so much during the 20th century that I like little bits from each um, genre or era, I would say. I don't, I don't like to say that I favor any type of art because I dabble with like everything, so any kind of expression or things that capture like life or motion and expression is like pretty much art to me, so. Every single piece of art, anything. Gabe is my favorite piece of art. Graffiti. I think graffiti is one of a confusing artwork. Um, I don't understand it sometimes. What I would like to see, it would be to actually have those pieces of like art preserved um, as like cultural heritage type things. Um, I mean, you gotta look at stuff like the uh, Berlin Wall. When that was taken down, there's pieces of the Berlin Wall all over the world. And that had graffiti all over it. So that idea that that can be an art form, but could also be preserved would be phenomenal. So it's now seen as a legitimate art form, as opposed to like back in the day where it's like, oh, it's a public nuisance. They put in like, you know, they're ruining my property value. They painted over one in Australia just recently and they wound up ruining like a $1 million piece of graffiti. Like it was marketed at $1 million. And it was just on an like underpass of a highway. And that's how expensive it was. It's insane. Um, I think that I like the way that graffiti creates kind of a whole subculture and a whole, so I think I like it the way it is. I think I like it that you have to be a little bit bad to do graffiti. I enjoy photography, um, mostly just because it's, most of the stuff I enjoy is like photojournalism. Photography is a skill. So many people might consider themselves skilled in photography, but I can go on my Instagram right now and point out bad quality photography. I think photography is difficult to do to understand composition and to be able to recognize good photography and be able to do compositions that are strong and, and good. I think it takes a certain eye to be a good photographer. Considering none of my photographs come out looking amazing, I definitely don't think it's easy because I can't make like photographs look awesome. I can't reproduce the same thing that like actual photographers that know how to like measure the light and measure like understand the the form and how to like take a really good picture understand the tools for editing the photos so you get that like snapshot of like what that person's doing at that one moment that you really can't see at any other point you know like i can't uh, i just don't have the money to fly to india i think photography is not the easiest thing you can't just grab a camera and be a, a photographer I think you have to actually know what you're doing. You have to know how to work your lighting. And if you have a blurry picture, you are not a photographer. <laughs> Trying to get a meaning out of your image. That's what I think makes a good phot photographer. Uh, I've 
admire the most is comic book art. It's pretty cool. We're past couple decades. Well, comic book art and like manga and like different styles of art like that have always been my main interest. Like that's basically why I started drawing because I like the pictures on Dragon Ball Z and I was just like, that's cool. I want to do that too. My favorite comic book character would have to be... I'm an Iron Man fan. What I'm hoping to see a lot of comic book art is sort of blending that comic book style with um, the the digital format. So uh, going through, I mean, comic book stores are kind of cool, uh, being able to go to a comic book store, but being able to actually add more to it, adding like, you know, slight movements or sound effects, or even voice actors, like the readings, having that dynamic piece to it, I feel like that's gonna become more common. And I feel like a lot of sort of the flash program type pieces will become more common with comic book art. But I really like that comic book style. Cause like back when I was a kid, Comic books, oh, they sucked so bad. They like, the artwork was always like terrible. You'd always get like, you'd turn a page and like the colors would be slightly off. But I like comic books nowadays because you get things like The Walking Dead, phenomenal comic book, but they take time. And they actually like look at the comic and try to tell a really interesting story. Uh, I don't read uh, comic books. I do um, admire artists that work in comic books and how precise and um, infinitely talented they are. I'm pretty sure it wasn't Captain America created because of World War II. Yeah. yeah so that was definitely an influence on society. Yeah. I don't consider video games art because they are a means of entertainment as though where art is, if I draw a picture it's because I wanted to express myself. Oh, of course video games are an art form. I mean if I'm going to go through and like play a uh, huge video game, um, I've got to go through and see the story and the way things operate. I've seen beautiful scenes. You can't play something like Skyrim and overlook an entire like scene or overlook like a, a valley and not be like, wow, that's beautiful. Like that, somebody had to go through and build that and make that, like that's a form of art. But modern video games, they can put out there some really amazing stuff. Um, the idea that you're doing storytelling, I think, I think right now we're looking at an interesting era where things like video games, things like comic books, they're almost like in a renaissance where things are becoming, that used to be art, are, are now considered a whole new medium for uh, people to work with and use. If you think about it hard enough, yeah. Like, someone created graphics, someone like created all of it, it's art. Art is anything you create.